Hey folks, it's uh, Friday. Positive Paul here. It's uh, February 27th, 2020. Uh, just waking up from a little nap. And, uh, you know, I, I want to give a shout out to Jubilina Redeemed. Uh, she's made me very happy that she's been able to pick up on the fact about Richie from Boston. And others and it's it's no uh it's no easy job folks because as i said this whole gang stalking and targeted individual thing has ran out of gas all the real supposed targets which i'm getting tired of using that word target which I rarely do, but it's just one of them things that, you know, there's no way to describe what some of us go through. And you can see these frauds, how, uh, you know, like I said, what, I, look, can someone study a real target and then come up with this fake targeting scenario concerning them? Yes. But let's not get bogged down in that. Um, Again, Jubilina, God bless you. And we're going to do an all over the map video. You know, it's, uh, I took the week off, hadn't been online, and they've been giving me holy hell in the sleep department. That's about the best they can do. Yes, they've got the gang stalkers running around town, the American Nazi per plane buzzing around. I could, you know, I could do videos on this all day long, but again, it doesn't really bear much fruit. But let's do one that really, this this is really what gets their, their ivory stoked. And they know that, as I said, the Holy Spirit had revealed everything to me concerning what happened to me as a kid, concerning my family history. And yes, folks, we can forgive. We're supposed to forgive. If we don't, we can't be forgiven, but we do not forget, folks. You don't stick your head in the sand when you figure something out and pretend that, you know, this can't be. And that's the job of the YouTube fraud, to lead you astray from the truth. But... I'm going to just show you some pictures from the other day. And, uh, you know, I stopped using my camera because I, I don't know what it is with these cameras right here. These Sony Cyber Shots. But, you know, I was up in my little hovel. And it was Monday, or what is it? It's February 25th, so I guess that was Tuesday. And around 11 o'clock, they woke me up. My, my right ear pulsating, my ears ringing, and... You know, I just, holy hell was like breaking loose outside. So I, I said, you know what? I'm going to take some pictures. I haven't done it in a while because I got bored with it. And as always, never fails. These orbs, it, it, it just, uh, it's amazing that, you know, I've done videos concerning these orbs for years now. And this is one of the reasons why I'm the most censored person on YouTube. But you just, you get this crazy energy going on, demonic energy. And, you know, you... There's no real way other than having a camera in my hand to really get a good feel for these orbs. And what I said was, is that these orbs are no good. 
Now, yes, there could be orbs that are angels and whatnot, but you might not really, for some reason, you don't you don't catch catch them in the way that I do with these because whatever it is, these uh, spiritual beings that come from the demonic realm. They need us to suck the energy out of us. And this is something that's been ongoing for thousands of years. And this is what the ancient Israelites were up against. This is what the satanic rituals are about. But you just... You know, look, nobody can show this. If they can, they're not able to get any type of documentation up on the internet. Yes, I see these people, the orb whisperer guy snapping his fingers. And yes, go for it, Randy, who has done amazing work in this department, but very few people can do it. And look, it's nothing to be proud of, folks. But Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. What happens is, is when you get me in the picture, they all kind of go away now. I mean, you, by my thumb, you can't see it, but it's a, it's a Draco, it's a, you know, Draco reptilian. When you zoom in on it and get right up on this thing, you can see what is the face of a reptilian. The red, the reddish, brownish orbs are reptilians. Also, the, the, the dog people connected to the spirit of Cain. And then you have the greys, the little bulbous head, beady-eyed greys. So the point to all this is, is what I have in front of you right now is an article from the Cincinnati Magazine, June 1989, concerning Uncle Carl. Now, when I call him Uncle Carl, he's my grandfather's uncle. He would be almost 100 years older than me. And he's the main reason why my family as of recent, meaning the past 150 years that I've been able to figure out, and that's as far as they let me go. They won't let me get past Uncle Carl's father, my great-grandfather, Paul W.F. Lindner's older brother. Now, we're to believe that this is his son, and I've never said this, and this is going to drive them crazy. And who knows, maybe I'll come up missing next week for saying this and doing this again. But at this point, I don't really care. I know what what the, the uh, end game for me is, so it doesn't matter. They can't, there's nothing they could do to me anymore. It's become a big joke, a vaudeville act. Now... Concerning Uncle Carl, this article in the Cincinnati Magazine in June of 1989 does a blurb about his big 70th birthday party back on April 22nd. Now, at this, this time, I would have been a 22-year-old over in Camp Pendleton, California, serving the Marine Corps, and I would be uh, discharged within four months from the date of this article with an honorable discharge. But this man, this human being, who was once a human being, but he took, you know, he followed the air Balaam took his, you know, took his big payout and got involved with the so-called Illuminati Shmuminati. And what I've always said about these people, and this is the whole, the, the bloodline conundrum, all right? These Rothschild people, 
which are involved with my family. You know, not look, not my 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 immediate family, meeting my parents, my my extended family. I keep telling you people who claim to be targets and have vague testimonies, look, somebody in your family, extended family, is somehow connected to the military industrial complex that's connected to these no good nick reptoids in Europe and over in London. Now, before I get totally off track here, let's just go over the article. All right, it says, was it an earthquake or simply a shock? Was it the good turtle soup or merely the mock? Only Sinatra and about 200 other guests at Carl Lindner's 70th birthday bash know for sure. But this we have heard that the intimable, inimitable Mr. I Never Touched Jackie Mason, Frank Sinatra, sang him, sang for good buddy Carl, while no less a dynamic duo than George Bush and Billy Graham offered Max Headroom style kisses via video. And whatever, it continues on for just another couple sentences. Now, look. George Bush and Billy Graham and the rest of them. Kissinger, Cheney, and this includes your boy Trump. He's down on the totem pole. Uncle Carl doesn't call them. They called him. And the reason being is Uncle Carl and the rest of the people and my family, and I'm just one family. Look, I've said this. There's other families that are tied specifically to the, to the, the, the real Ashkenazi Jews, the real Merovingian bloodline. And there's a reason that the Merovingians are the 13th bloodline and they they call them that. The rest of them are called out by their fake phony names. Because the people they're looking for, meaning these newborns that they have to totally isolate and make sure they put them through the ringer because if you leave these people alone, they are going to become adults that can walk around and look about their surroundings and understand that something's very wrong in the world today. And this goes to all, all types of problems and issues that we all talk about. But my issue now is the hybrid issue, which... And if I can keep continuing making videos, I'm going to hammer away on this hybrid issue. So one of the things Uncle Carl was able to do to my family over a hundred plus years is sideline these children that came from all these people and were connected to the original DNA blueprint which he was too. But once you become a human sellout and you, you get seduced, right? Look, you know, as I've stated, all these people could have been stumbling around and they place people in your life to get you into a direction that they want you moving because there's something that they want and need and they want to convince somebody that, look, this, this, this is what we need you to do. And once they start getting involved in these satanic rituals and all this black magic, that's when these Palladians, these fallen angels, these demons can get inside these humans and literally take over. And yes, they're walking around. They come out and they do philanthropy and throw money around. All right, when he died on my birthday in October 17th, 2011, the first thing that 
his trust does is donates millions and millions of dollars concerning study of the human brain. Now look, folks, I'm one of the last known people to have these implants in concerning Jose Delgado and his henchmen concerning the intercerebral hypnotic radio implant. Now, yes, maybe the younger people got something going on, but concerning me, this is why I've over the past year from all the attacks, I have a constant low frequency hum in my ears that's so noticeable when it's quiet, especially at night. And then every night they wake me up to keep me out of REM sleep for a lot of reasons. And that's why now it's gotten to the point where throughout the day I have the intermittent pulsating in my right ear. And, and who knows whether the stuff is, is totally starting to fail completely or they're doing something. Maybe they are. They still are able to control something. But look, the mind control is all, it's been a done deal for me years and years ago, all right? So the point is, Uncle Carl and all his buddies literally sucked off my family and, and who knows how many people are gone because it's it. There are no more. I am the last one in my bloodline. My son's mom is Mexican and clearly looking at my son, certain attributes he has, all right, it leads me to believe that, yes, that unfortunately, all right, he has hybrid attributes. Now, again, there's... There's different categories of hybrids, but more importantly, we're concerned with the hybrid breeding program after World War II. So all this stuff concerning satanic ritual abuse, MK Ultra, mind control, everything, all right? All this stuff is given, passed down through the demonic realm from Satan and when you're a human being and you sign up with these no good neck reptoids, you get the tree of life technology, which extends your life. Now, again, I cannot prove whether that is junior or that senior. It doesn't matter. The point is, what I am able to prove is this person, unfortunately, got sucked in to the whole nasty business of Satanism, Luciferianism, and everything that comes with it. So from the time I was born... These rituals were done to me and whatever it was about me that they were scared of, they made sure that any type of, I guess, inkling that something's not right, whatever they did, it, it, it worked at least up until my mid-30s. By, by my mid-30s, I knew I was being stalked hassled, harassed, but didn't didn't understand MK Ultra. That wouldn't come till later until my 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 you know mid forties. And like I said, look, they wipe your memory. Eat them. Electronic dissolution of memory. When you go if someone says, oh yeah, they remember stuff concerning rituals and this and that or underground military uh, deep underground military bases and they're saying yes they might get a couple things here and there but literally they will wipe your memories and yes some of these memories do resurface and the the one the one thing that that I have that I know is I remember being 
in a laboratory somewhere in a, in a, in a deep underground military base with at least a dozen plus men in lab coats and me laying on some type of a gurney or something surrounded by equipment. And this would have been around the year 1980 when they had to get me over to Montauk. And I'm still, I'm going to, you know, go over that here sooner or later. And that's when the last set of implants would have been put in me. But that's also, if there's ever a time travel thing, that's when they pulled this Mickey Mouse stuff with me and these other kids who are no longer here. And when I say I saw the tribulation, I saw the tribulation. Now, again, with that, the reason why this is possible and the people that can actually be used to do this are people from the original DNA blueprint, the atomites. Now, no one's ever going to tell you that or admit that. And, you know, they've, they'll come up with all their other excuses. Look, these people that have all these resources to pull off all these fancy schmancy videos and make, you know, they're all smooth talkers and this and that. You know, there's your first, second, and third clue that, look, these are gatekeepers. And this is what. Richie from Boston is, but a lower level one. Look, he's just a dumb putt sitting somewhere in his mother's, uh, you know, basement. And thank God Jubilina is able to, to pick up on that, finally pick up on that. I, I actually linked up my video concerning him to her, which she'll probably never get to see. And that's okay, you know, because I'll end up being with her. Anyway, it doesn't matter whether they keep us apart. So Uncle Carl and his good buddies, George Bush, Billy Graham, Kissinger. And look, it's a long list. If I went down the whole list, oh, Uncle Uncle Hugh, my dad's godfather. Look, the, it, when you, you see the people on this list, it will make you want to throw up. So yes, they suck me dry of whatever, whatever it was that I had. And then, because they couldn't kill me, they had to turn me back over to my parents who went their whole life thinking that somehow I'm just going to disappear. Their big master plan of either me committing suicide or getting, you know, taken out or getting locked up, it never happened. But that's what happened to these other kids. And again, with the when you see these YouTube frauds that are constantly, they try to you know get uh, somehow attach themselves to you. But when you see the content of their videos and they're they're talking about suicide, this and that. And look, I, I, I'm I'm gonna get to all this. Again, one of the things they hope for is that they can take me out and then get to my location and scoop it up and make it look like I did something like killed myself, which would never happen, folks. You assholes keep trying. You're a bunch of losers. So here's the point. Uncle Carl sidelined my family. And all these people are going to have to deal with me in the next realm. So... Again, look what the bottom article is, 1989. Reshape your future. Cosmetic surgery. What do I tell you about the image, folks, with these hybrids, with their image? All right, so let's slow down before I get worked up. I'm going to show you something concerning these hybrids. And I just picked up on it. No one can do this. And look, you bobbleheads can run with this. Richie, Alex, all you dum-dums. The spirit that moved across the water that's connected to human beings and also is connected to the Gentiles if they want that connection. 
Remember, many are called, few are chosen. All right, so that's spirit. Now, when you come to Cain and Yahweh tells him, look, you can't, well, first off, Cain, Cain knows he messed up. The spirit of Satan got into him. He killed his brother. And then he pissed off Yahweh. And then he got banished. So it's, it's, a, it's chapter 4, verse 14, Genesis. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth. And from thy face shall I be hid. I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. Now, who is Cain worried about? Because there really wouldn't have been, you know, many, the population couldn't have been much back then. He was worried about something. And again, we don't really know what happened to him. He was banished to the east of Eden in the land of Nod, which some of some eyes could be Siberia, possibly. But that spirit that got into Cain back then is alive and well. Alive and well in 2020. And the fake Jews over in Israel that are seven times demonically possessed, all right? The so-called, the hijacked, the Ashkenazi Jews, which is my ancestors due to my last name, Lindner, which is L-I-N-D-N-E-R. And it's funny too, because one of the things that people have tried to write about Uncle Carl and when he donates to, uh, when he did donate to all these politicians, he would misspell his name so they wouldn't know where the money comes from. And they did that to me my whole life to mock me. And these, these dumbass, highbred, foolish, fake TIs that, that do the same thing and can't get my spelling right in my name, right there, that's another, another clue for me. When they do that, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a way of mocking me. That's all it is. And yes, you know, someone can make a mistake and misspell a name, but when it comes to this stuff, folks, you need to get your act together and have all your ducks in line. People are important and their names are important. And when you start trying to somehow mislead someone such as a simple misspelling of a name there's a reason behind that so this spirit of Cain okay that is still alive and well it got Cain banished from the Garden of Eden I'm going to show you something and this is what the bobbleheads can run with because no, look, no one can do this. As my Bible's falling apart, another page fell out, and we're at Psalm 51. Now, we're going to go to verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, meaning Elohim, and renew a right spirit within me. Now, what that means is through repentance, your spirit can be renewed. Now, this is what Jesus was trying to tell Nicodemus about the necessity of regeneration, being born of the spirit, how this works, baptized with the water and, and, and you know, born of the spirit. But the most important part here, and this is what happened to Cain. We're Psalm 51, verse 11. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Now, 
Folks, concerning this breeding, hybrid breeding program after World War II, where the, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were fair, all right, and created these hybrids, and God knows what else they were doing, these freaks in nature. They do not have that spirit, spirit, period. There's no salvation for these freaks of nature. All they have is this world. And when you're in a position like I am, it's easy to spot these freaks of nature. They look like us, talk like us, but there's something missing. And what's missing is that spirit that moved across the water. Now concerning Cain, that's why his genealogy is cut out. He lost favor. That spirit was taken away from him. But the good news is that thank God for Noah, perfect in his generations, didn't breed with hybrids and was able to create the Gentile race. And Elohim, through the grace of their wisdom, allowed this, this subset, this group of people known as Gentiles, salvation that can be connected to that spirit that these Canaanites don't have. Now this, this is the whole bugaboo, folks. That the deception, which the deception is, is it's all over the place, but one aspect of it is these hybrids that are walking around looking like humans. And if they could breed out humans, they will. Now your boy Trump... He's a human, but he, you know, went the way of Uncle Carl and the rest of them. And look, he's, he's a, a, this smooth talker. And what, 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 is, what is he so worried about? If this coronavirus is for, for real and is about to possibly set off some chain reaction that, that's going to maybe, who knows, create martial law, anything, who knows? But what's Trump worried about? The stock market. The money. Worried about the money. It's just amazing. So yeah, you know, it, I don't know. It, look, it, some of this stuff, you know, is easy to spot and pick up on. But other things, it, it's just like, you know speaking out of the side of your mouth it's it's what do they say do it's duplicitous so anyway i figured as i had tried to take a nap and was so rudely woken up with the noise outside the house i figured why not make this video and cause more problems for myself <laughs> 